And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Not a bad afternoon across North Alabama, Southern and Middle Tennessee. Got to enjoy plenty of sunshine before the cloud cover rolled into the Tennessee Valley. And the sunshine helped temperatures decline into the upper 70s and lower 80s. While that is really nice as far as spending time outside is concerned, it is another below average afternoon across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Arab, Albertville, Coleman, Fort Payne didn't even see highs in the lower 80s this afternoon. They only saw highs in the upper 70s. Fort Payne, good evening. You saw a disappointing high this afternoon of 78 degrees. Huntsville International saw 82. Athens and Decatur saw 81. Florence saw 83, which again, while disappointing, these high temperatures aren't Bad. It felt relatively comfortable outside, but they are below average. But that's not different from any other day this month. As a matter of fact, now that May is all said and done, we only saw 10 days where the daily high temperature was above average. Two of those days, it was exactly average. The rest of the month was below average. It was a really below average month across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Normally, May is where we really begin to get a taste of summer, and we really didn't just see that this month, which means I think June might come as more of a bit of a shock to the system. 85 is the average high tomorrow. By the time we get to the end of the month, the average high temperature is right around 90 degrees. I also want you to pay attention to the fact that by the time we get to the end of the month, sunset will be after 8 o'clock. We also have the official start of summer. Tomorrow is typically seen as the official start of meteorological summer, but the actual start of astronomical summer is exactly 10.33 p.m. on June 20th. In case you're curious, that is just 20 days from now. We stay relatively warm as we head into the overnight. Some more cloud cover is going to begin to build into the Tennessee Valley. I've got a low at around 63 degrees. Cloud cover is going to continue to build through a good majority of Tuesday afternoon. Still going to get to enjoy a fair amount of sunshine, but for the kids that want to go to, go to the pool, not a bad day for it. I've got a high right around 85 degrees. The Rocket City Trash Pandas are once again home this week. Going to be a beautiful evening for baseball tomorrow. 81 at 6, 80 by 7, 76 by 8, 73 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. Not too hot, not too cold. Really is going to be the perfect weather for some baseball. Here's future cast in the afternoon. Many of us are dry, though, dealing with a mostly cloudy sky. A couple of isolated showers are going to be possible through the heart of the afternoon, early into the evening, but at the end of the day, many of us are going to stay dry. A couple of showers across northwest Alabama. Alabama, up across southern Middle Tennessee, certainly can't be ruled out. That activity comes to an end as we head into the overnight, but early Wednesday morning we'll see another band of showers and maybe even a couple rumbles of thunder begin to move into the Tennessee Valley. A better opportunity for this by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. This is going to be associated with our next system. Our next system comes in the form of a cold front. Doesn't look like that cold front is actually going to move through the Tennessee Valley until we get to Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening, but it does bring about our next best opportunity for some widespread rain across the Tennessee Valley. Also, it's going to be a little cooler on Thursday and Friday. I've got a high of 80 on Thursday, 81 on Friday. Temperatures do climb a little bit by the time we get to the weekend, Sydney.